Hello everybody and welcome to my let's play of Cuphead. I am not very good at this game. Uh, I will only play it just a little bit. Just so that you won't be uh, too far behind on what's happening. Hang on, just one second. So yeah, let's just start 2% in Quill Isle 1. I've only played a little bit of the game, and uh, but already I'm loving it. It's very, very... Well, uh, atmospheric. <laughs> the, uh, the style choice is just amazing to me. When you start, you do a little tutorial. I can show it off, but uh, most people have probably already seen the tutorial. You start the game, and you get a little story about how Cuphead and Mugman, which is his brother, brother uh, got tricked by the devil to uh, play uh, away their souls. So yeah. You start in here after that little cutscene and you talk to this guy who's your grandpa. You can't shoot him. <laughs> and he says, please go into the tutorial. You don't have to, but uh, I'm going to show you anyway. The tutorial. Duck. Hold down to crouch. Wow, that's hard. Tap for short jump. Let's tap. It's a hold. See the difference, right? Not that hard. And dash is with Y. Descend, shoot, hold for rapid fire. Lock, eight way aiming. And a parry system to pink objects. And parry if you're playing with another friend to, uh, to revive them. And an EX move for each type of weapon you have. But right now you just have the pea shooter, and that's this is the EX move for that. Kind of like a Hadouken or Kamala blasts. And that's the tutorial. Very simple to understand. Very simple to get into. Not that hard to get into at all. The only thing I have a little bit of problem is with. Uh, with is that the uh, dive button is on the face buttons or the Y button. And I kind of wish the dive was on uh, something else. I could check real quick if I can actually move the dash to something else. Okay. Ah, oh, actually can. But uh, I'll think I'll just keep it alive for now, since that's what I'm actually uh, used to now already. So. Go over here and talk to this guy, and he'll give you three coins. You start with one coin. Hey guys, it's good to see you again. Hope those coins helped out a bit. Maybe check with the other folks around here, they might help you too. One's not trying to kill you, I mean. And then you probably should have head into the shop. Welcome. And you have a few options here. I already purchased something, so I don't have any options. And I purchased a very defensive thing, which was this. You will not take damage during a dash, a great defense maneuver. It just sounds like something I should have. And this is the first stage, which I have not been able to beat yet. Because I kind of suck at these kind of games. One thing that I'm... Oh Jesus. Already? One thing I'm really bad at with uh, this game so far is that I, for some reason, think there's a double jump. But there's not a double jump in this game. Not at all. So I tend to uh, die and fall down places. That's a parry. 
And you get bonus points for, at the end of the stage for parrying stuff, so... At least I think so. So I'm trying to... Ugh. I'm trying to parry all the things I can't parry. Damn it! Uh, I rushed too much there. Should have waited. Another thing I don't like about the game so far is uh, the sound of the pea shooter. Kind of ruins the music. Uh, not really ruins it. But you know what I mean, probably. It does fit in with the music, though, so it doesn't really matter that much. I am not good at the parry stuff. There we go. Oh. There we go. I wonder if I can shoot. Yeah! Yeah, okay. Those flowers are usually what kills me, to be quite honest. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Jesus Christ. Now go. Ooh, this is going to be a long one, fellas. I'll try to not talk too much during this, just so we can actually enjoy the music. And I will have something to say if I see something. One thing I want to mention about the game is that it has excellent level design when it comes to showing you what's safe and what's not safe. If I die, I'll show you what I mean. Or if, I mean when I die. Kablamo! So far so good. This little area right here usually fucks me up. Mostly because I think I have a double jump. But so far so good. I do can- Whoa! I'm just gonna play it really safe here. Probably gonna lose a lot of points for wasting time. Ouch. Come on. Bravo! Bravo! Okay, okay. Not too bad, only one hit. 143 HP bonus, parries, gold coins. Great day! A brand new record! Not too bad. Could have been better. <laughs> Come on! Cup man? I mean, Cuphead. Oh. I could just have walked around. Oh, well then. Is this. It's an axe, man. What are you looking at, my chip? Huh? It's not my fault. I've been busy fighting off those casino devils. Now I gotta save up and have my blade fixed. So help me. I wish someone would bust that King Dice one. Floral Fury. Okay. I'm just gonna... Go right back. But yeah, I'm gonna go uh, really fast through the first part of the game. I mean, the first stage again. Just gonna buy something here first. Welcome. Pea sugar. Nah. Extra hit point. I want to try the spread. Lobber, medium range, good damage with a slow rate of fire. Goodbye. 
Patam patam pam patam patam pam. So I'm going to show you what I mean about good level design real quick. And begin. And begin. Hmm, not as annoying sound from this one. Anyway, you see at the start of the uh, start of the stage here, you're you're not attacked from behind right away. You go to the right, and you see a flower coming towards you from above, which tells you that they can parachute in, or they can run at you from either side. Because after the first one, you're attacked from behind like that. That's pretty good design, and also they die from just one hit, so it tells you these guys are not a big deal. You can kill them real quickly without too much focus on the game itself. So you learn that you can actually just run and gun at these fools without it being actually too much of a problem. And here's a really nice little introduction to the moving platforms. And the moving platforms also dip down when you actually stand on them a little bit, which is important for later. And yeah, I'm doing terribly right now because I'm explaining all this. This is the first grenade flower, or what it is called. And it's set in such a way that it's very safe. You can actually see what it's doing. You can see that it needs to wind up to attack and send out these little fire, uh, I don't know, pellets. And you can also see that they, sta they stay on the ground for a little bit. And you can probably get hurt if you run into them after the explosion. Also, you see that one flower up there, he turns around, much like a Koopa Troopa in Mario. And this is also your first enemy, uh, except the mushroom, that can take more than one hit. And here's the, well, the first real mushroom. And you see that he doesn't take damage when he's in the ground, because you try to shoot him, of course. But once he pops up, he's no problem. Also, here's the first blue guy. And you can see that they just go back and forth, kind of like Koopa Troopas again. And they can't die. They just melt a little bit. Also, there's like that flying piranha thing. It's in a safe spot. You can't get hit by it unless you fall down. And if you fall down, you take falling damage anyway. So you see that, oh, okay. Sometimes these things will jump up where there's brambles. And here's the, uh, actually the first... Oh. Yeah, well, there's the first parry, uh, parry object as well, which is also in a relatively uh, safe place when it comes to the player and uh, your progression to the level. And within all these few moments, the game has taught you all you need to know about the enemies in this area. Maybe other areas as well. I haven't played any more stages, so I don't know yet. As you can see, very safe area, and here's your second grenade flower, with a, li with a little bit more, you know, difficulty. And then you get a little bit more difficulty again, and here you're starting to see the real problem uh, pop up, where you have to be careful from above, and from under, and from that guy. And here's the one that actually goes a little bit down when you stand on it, which can be a problem. You can't jump all the way up. And here's the false walnut, uh, the first walnut, which may take you, take you by a surprise at first, but it's not very hard to dodge at all because it completely completely stops it advance towards you when it you know, sees you and this falls straight down, which gives you plenty of time to just walk away from it or shoot it straight up because it only takes two hits. But then there's this part, and because you're probably like me, you want to kill all the enemies, and you get very stressed about, oh, where should I go? There's stuff everywhere, there's something behind me, something under me, there's something above me. But when you get to that point, you should have already actually gotten into the uh, feel of the game. So yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about here at the end, and that's going to wrap it up for my first uh, episode of my Let's Play of Cuphead. And uh, next time we'll either go the Botanic Panic or or to Ruse of an Ooze. We'll see. I'm not quite sure yet. But yeah, thanks. Thank you guys for watching, and. Uh, See you next time.